How many people have sat down and said, what do I want to do with my career? What do I want to accomplish with my life? Because until you have a vision of what you want to be, it's difficult to create a vision for others. Great leaders take in a lot of information. They're more listeners than they are speakers. And as a visionary leader, you have to see things that others just don't see. It's the person who not only sees the future, but shapes it. You have to listen to learn, and you have to continually learn to lead. When things aren't working out, how are you handling yourself as a leader? Yeah. Because that oftentimes is what tells them if the next job comes around, I will tap that person because they acted like a class act. The one thing in particular that I took away is the exposure piece. It's so important to go out there and tell the world about yourself. Let people know who you are. What I find most beneficial about being a member is the incredible network access to sponsors, and most importantly, no matter where I go across the country, I know that I'll have a family. The power of power network. But what does that mean? Making connections with the right people at the right time to accelerate the speed at which one is able to reach his or her goal. Our goal is to get rid of all the open surgeries, and uh, we can do that with the help of our Da Vinci surgery system. But what happens a lot of times is because we're growing and we're adding new territories, um, between promotions and new territories opening up, we'll have positions across the country uh, available quite, quite, quite often. So at Johnson & Johnson, we're looking for all types of candidates, uh, regardless of tenure. And what we're looking for is um, sales professionals um, that we can bring into our organization that are truly seeking to make a difference in healthcare. And the one thing that I know that we get out of this group, the National Sales Network, is that there's a bunch of talented, passionate people. We can't train on that. So I say to you confidently that your game is tight. You must work day and night. You can seldom be wrong. You must almost always be right, which makes you like a bright ray of light or perhaps a rising star about to take flight. In fact, I would say, NSN, you are simply out of sight. But if you've been in sales long enough, you know what I know, but you were afraid to tell that on an ongoing basis, you must always do your own self-reflection of what is your passion. Know your inner fire well and know that of your team just as well as you know yourself. You've been in sales long enough, you know what I know, but you have been afraid to tell. It is who first and then what. I tell people that the worst thing you could do to yourself, to your children, to your organization, to your group, is to let anybody put limits on what you can achieve. Uh, if you do, then you're setting that as the, as the bar, and that's always a bad thing. And every dimension of the relationship is affected by the level of trust. See, it's trust that makes our world go round. It's trust that makes our markets work. You take away trust, everything slows down or even grinds to a halt because it's the one thing that changes everything. You get good at trust. You can build trust in sales as a leader. You can, it affects everything else that you're trying to do. Well, I wanna thank you for participating in this year's conference, our 20th anniversary conference. Show us some love for that, 20 conferences.